Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Joining me here at ITW 2017, we are honored to have Mr. Andrew Kwok. He's the president of International and Carrier Business at HGC. Andrew, thank you for joining us here. Jamie, it's my pleasure. Yeah. Uh, Love to see you today in sunny and very good weather, Chicago. Uh, Chicago couldn't be more beautiful for, for our gathering here at the International Telecoms Week. And uh, we have a very interesting conversation here. Um, it is certainly a changing landscape for the telcos. Can you tell us what you're seeing and, uh, and how uh, the carrier's role for, is changing in the digital ecosystem? Okay. So, Jamie, so you hit right on the nail. So um, I think uh, if I put it in this way, let me put it in this way is that uh, there are traditional business in the telecommunication. And of course, there's a lot of disruptive model, so-called disruptive model in the market, namely created and led by the ODTs. So having said that, I think years ago, the people is afraid, worry about the ODT are taking away business. But having said that, I think up to this stage, the people is start to embrace the ODT and try to cooperate with them. Some success, some fail, mm -hmm. of course. So for HGC, we are getting a lot of business, a lot of new friendship mm -hmm. and everything from the ODT sector, which serve our business and also our emotional feelings much better because we don't see them as that only disruptive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So answering your question, uh, what I see uh, physically is that for the traditional business, of course, there's a lot of traditional business expansion. Software-defined network is something that in the traditional market we need to do. And other than that, SD-WAN, which is a software-defined, plus the security is also one of the major focus in the whole area. Certainly uh, making global headlines today for sure. and. So with that uh, SD, SDN, SD-WAN, network security, how are our carriers' business models being affected and changing? Okay. So uh, yeah, this will change the carrier's uh, business model in, uh, in two ways. The first one is that uh, we would like to provide a more a one-stop solution for the, for the customer, no matter their carrier customer or the enterprise customer. Only the reason is that once we software define our network, Basically, we're absorbing some of the functionality from the peripheral back into the core. Mm -hmm. So what is needed to be successful? Of course, our performance. Of course, our price structure. But on the other hand, with same importance is that we need to gain the trust of the customer because they are relying on you more and more. Obviously, your performance and everything has to be up to a standard that they feel comfortable. Yeah. So I think this is... A, a kind of, I don't, I don't call it a dilemma, but instead it is an evolution process. Right, yeah, I, I love that word, an evolution process. And certainly there's new opportunities that are, are coming up through this disruption. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, uh, again, the people are talking about disruption. So we see disruption is on one hand a traditional interpretation of evolution, but on the other hand, it comes with opportunities. So let's say, let's cook some example. So we divide our ODT market into two pieces. One is the mega size ODT, if I would. Another one is uh, medium size or a smaller ODT. For those mega size ODT, basically, they're not only invert looking. What I mean by invert looking is that they look at their own territory, they look at their own country and launch the service. No, because of globalization, granularization, and also personalization. Basically, no matter there, they see the opportunity that they need to expand, or the market is actually pushing them to go global. So this is one piece of the opportunity that we observe. So we are bringing a lot of especially Asian ODT going to the global arena, and we are serving them in a lot of different parts of the country. For those ODT, which what I call the mega size ODT, mm -hmm. I have to use another team of people to serve them because they know what is telecommunication. But for the smaller size ODT, basically they need a kind of turnkey OTT solution in which they keep their focus, their attention, and also the resources back into their own core business, but they hand over all the communication requirement to the carrier, like HEC. Mm -hmm. So this is the both opportunity that I can see. Oh, great answer. And so, yes. 
Uh, looking forward, um, what do you see uh, coming down the pipe for HGC? For traditional business, for evolving business, I want both. I'm not greedy. <laughs> 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 but actually, uh, we work for a listed company. We have to strive for the best benefit for this uh, shareholder. Mm -hmm. But having said that, I think when you talk about the traditional business and also the evolving business, you cannot cut a very keen line between the both. And you say that, okay, I focus on the traditional, I forget about the, OTD, the, the new business, or vice versa. Because every telecommunication, no matter the product, the network, and also your resources put in, are linked closely to each other. Mm -hmm. So... Forgive me by saying that I'm a dirty businessman. I would like to have both. But actually, the market is pushing us to do well in both. Yes, and it's amazing. And I'm loving what I'm hearing here today, that you're being able to address both uh, so well. So uh, congratulations. Thanks, thanks for that. Congratulations. And for our viewers who want to learn more, where can they go? Uh, you can go to our website. You can go to YouTube. You can go to Twitter. You can go to our Facebook so basically, we are communicating uh, all the information uh, out of those channels. And other than that, obviously, the best solution is that give us a call and let us visit you, or we welcome you to visit our 21 office around the world. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much, Andrew. My for pleasure. Jamie. Such an, your insight, your time. We really appreciate it. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.